last demonstration to show the effect of a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. In this case, our current carrying conductor is going to be a light bulb, and we're going to put a big strong magnet to the side of it, and we should experience a force. Because it's so hard to see, just by looking at it, the movement is rather small, what we're going to do is project it onto a screen. So we put a lens, convex lens, one focal length away from the object itself. So any light coming from the object hits the lens one focal length away. What happens as it leaves the lens? Do that parallel. It travels out parallel. So what you've got, therefore, is an image of the lens up on the screen, or an image of the filament up on the screen. So it's now a current carrying conductor. As of yet, we haven't put it in a magnetic field. If we put it in a magnetic field, we should see it experiencing a force. And what's interesting is, well, let's just see what we see first of all. If I put it up there. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, why is it vibrating in different directions? So if it's alternating current, what could you predict about the frequency of that? Yeah. So it should be changing direction how often? So it's actually vibrating about 50 times a second. Because of the, the direction of the current is changing direction 50 times a second. Or hertz is 50 or 60 hertz. So I put it there one last time. I think it looks pretty. Sweet. <coughs> Three, two, one, <coughs> and we take it back, and it no longer experiences force.